for joining us in this class. Here we want to solve this problem finding the value of x. If you are just joining us, subscribe to this channel for more for more of our videos. And also ensure you watch this video to the end. There are two solutions for x here now. Let's start from here. You can say this is 3 raised to power x and change this you know 8 to raise 2 now. We now have 2 raised to power 3 which is raised to power x over x plus 2 then equals to this 6 here we can break it as 3 times 2 and uh, from here as well we can rewrite this and uh, because this power can multiply each other from law of indices and we are going to have 3 raised to power x times 2 raised to power 3x then over x plus 2 so everything raised to the power of 3x over x plus 2 then equals to 3 times 2 here then we want to do something here now that is we can take the log on both sides now when we take the log on this side that is log of 3 raised to power x times 2 raised to power 3x all over x plus 2 then also the log on this side log 3 times 2 now so from here we can apply the law of logarithm and uh, when we apply the law of logarithm here we can separate this as log because product we can you know split it as sum of two logs that's log 3 raised to power x plus log 2 raised to power 3x over x plus 2 so we have that when we split it now then equals to on this side split this side as well that's log 3 plus log 2 then let's try to you know bring the like terms together but before then we can apply a law here so there is a law of logarithm as well when we have the power the power can come to the back and say this is x log 3 now then plus here as well this you know power can come to the back and that will be 3x over x plus 2 then log 2 now so that will be equal to log 3 plus log 2 then we can do something here now that is we can you know collect the like term by bringing log 3 to log 3 and also log 2 let's just bring everything on this side to this side so that we have x log 3 then minus log 3 then let's write this one that's plus 3x over x plus 2 log 2 then when we bring this one that's minus log 2 then what will be left there now will be equal to 0 you are taking everything to this side now so from here we can factor log 3 out because log 3 is common here so we can see this is x minus 1 so x minus 1 then log 3 also in this case we have log 2 log 2 so this minus 1 then plus so we have plus into bracket 3x over x plus 2 then minus 1 as well so when we take log 2 out this is all we have so the expansion of this will give us this back a equals to 0 so from here now we can try to remove this fraction here that is x plus 2 because fcm here is you know x plus 2 now we can use it to multiply through and this will give us x minus 1 on this side then times x plus 2 now so we have log 3 then plus this side x plus 2 will have cancel x plus 2 but x plus 2 times minus 1 here 
that will be minus x minus 2. So we now have what is left here. We now have a 3x minus x minus 2. Then log, you know, 2 equals to 0. So from here now, we can also see that what we have here, we will be left with 3x minus x will be 2x. So therefore, we can say this is x minus 1 times x plus 2. Then log 3. So then plus, this will be 2x minus 2. And 2x minus, since this is 2x minus 2, of course, from there, I can say I bring 2 out. And that will be 2 to bracket x minus 1. So I can, of course, write this one like, like this. So I will have 2 into bracket x minus 1 now, because I have 2x minus 2. Then log 2 equals 0. So from here now, I have, you know, x minus 1, x minus 1. I want to take x minus 1 out. So that what I have will now be x minus 1 into bracket. I have x plus 2 log 3 left here. That's x plus 2 log 3 left on this side. Then what is left on this side? When we take x minus 1 out is 2 log 2. So we have 2 log 2 left here. Then equals to 0. So from there, these two number multiplies and the result is giving us 0. It means that we can equate x minus 1 to 0. Or we can equate our x plus 2 log 3. Then plus 2 log 2. We can equate that to 0 as well. Then on this side, our x is equals to 1. So this is a solution. S equals to 1 is a solution. And of course, on this side as well, we can solve for x by saying when we reverse this one, a particular one, 2 can come up here and we say we have x plus 2, you know, log 3. Then I want to carry it on this side equals to, you know, plus you become minus. That's minus log 2 raised to power 2. So minus log 2 raised to power 2, that's minus log 4. So this is log 3. For that we have log 3 there. So now, from here now, I can equally divide both sides by log 3. I say this is x plus 2 equals to minus log 4. Because, you know, 2 raised to power 2, that's log 4. My log, minus log 4 then over log 3. So that's what I have there. And you know I can write this as equals to minus log 4 base 3. I can equally write it like that. That's x plus 3 equals to minus log 4 base 3. And from here we can also take our plus 2 to this side. And we now have x equals to minus log 4 base 3 then minus 2. And uh, here we can uh, introduce something here now. That is, we can say this will be the same thing as this will be equals this will be x equals to minus log four base three, then minus two log three base three. Why? Because when we have it as log three base three, that's one. So it's as if you have done nothing there. And uh, also from there, I can reverse this two up and say this will be x will now be equal to minus log 4 base 3, then minus log 3 raised to power 2, that's, you know, the reverse of the law now, then base 3, and of course this is, you know, 9 now. And we can bring this minus out of the bracket now and say this will be x will now be equal to minus into bracket log log 4 base 3 then plus since you have brought minus out it will remain plus there then plus log 9 base 3 and uh, this one will now give us since we have plus you know we can bring it together as one by multiplying i will say this is this will be x equals to minus into bracket log 
23 or 4.29. That's the summary of this. So we can bring it together as one lot, then multiply. So therefore, the next x will now be the second value of x will be minus log 4.9. There we give us 36. And that's minus log 36 is 3. So that is the second solution for our x. You see, thank you for joining us in this class. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos. See you in the next class and bye for now.